Breaking news now. Putin's former bodyguard who opposed the war and defected has reported being pursued all the way to South America. A former member of President Putin's Federal Protective Service who condemned the invasion of Ukraine claims he has been pursued ever since he left Russia. After months of trying to quit his job guarding one of Putin's palaces, Vitaly Brilati told Insider that he finally succeeded only after being interrogated and threatened with prison. After he escaped, he has the freedom to speak out. He is one of the extremely few ex-FSO officers still active in the military. After arriving in Ecuador, Brilati began receiving insider warning messages threatening his life and urging him to return to Russia. According to one such message, Brilati is facing big problems at the Kremlin. They appear to be the harsh retaliation for his rejection of Putin's politics and the Ukrainian war. Brilati, through a translator, explained to Insider how he came to oppose Russian propaganda and back Ukraine while still working to ensure Putin's safety. Putin's protection in occupied Crimea Insider has seen paperwork indicating that in September of 2021, Brilati joined the estimated 50,000 strong Federal Protection Service, which is responsible for protecting Putin and other high ranking Russian officials. He claimed to be stationed at Olivy. Putin's opulent Crimean state palace that he has been living in since Russia annexed the Ukrainian peninsula in 2014. Brilati had been looking for that job for a long time. He claims that in order to become an FSO officer, he was required to undergo a battery of tests, including a lie detector, to determine his honesty. Having been forced, in his words, into a police assignment in occupied Crimea, he initially expressed apprehensions about doing so. A large portion of his family lived there, and he would be able to retire comfortably with an FSO salary of 68,000 rubles, $700 per month. Brilati managed sniffer dogs and scouted locations Putin would visit, but behind the scenes, he was cultivating dissident views. After tuning into independent media and the speeches of opposition politician Alexei Navalny, he became repulsed by Russian state propaganda and the palace's opulence. After starting work for the FSO, he realized Navalny was telling the truth about the perks. On February 24, 2022, when Putin began his all-out invasion of Ukraine, he turned decisively against the Russian authorities. Brilati claims he was unable to continue serving him. The next day, Brilati submitted his resignation letter, stating, I do not want to participate and be associated with Russia's attack on Ukraine in any way, even passively. According to him, the letter was crumpled up and discarded, egressing from the land of Mordor. When Brilati's resignation proposal in February 2022 was summarily shot down, things quickly deteriorated. I began to get death threats, he said. He was interrogated for hours on end about his beliefs and threatened with years in prison if he didn't keep quiet. In addition, being surrounded by overly loyal career police officers made for a toxic work environment. You have to watch everything you are saying in front of them, because every word may be used against you, he warned. I was under enormous psychological pressure, he continued. A psychologist listened to his problems with a sympathetic smile and nod. He later claimed it was obvious that she had reported his every word to his superiors. By the end of the conversation, Brilati had decided to keep quiet. But secretly, he was making plans to flee. Because of the terms of his employment, he was unable to retrieve his passport. So, he faked losing his original passport and walked into the passport agency to get a replacement. No one had given him the OK to quit yet. Then, however, the light began to dawn. He learned that a major stipulation for many government jobs is that you cannot hold any foreign work permits.